So our ambition is clear. We believe that a positive result today is still within reach, but we are worried about some of the things we have seen and heard over the last, let's say, 12 hours that might indicate that we step back from the ambition, that might indicate that we are not able to focus the fund on those most in need. I had one question here and then I'll come to you because I didn't... We have made clear proposals that could bridge the gaps that existed. I have clearly the impression that we succeeded in at least getting the conversation going and people moving. Uh, also people moving on both sides of the argument. But frankly, I think we have done more moving than the other side of the argument. So at some point, if you make steps forward, you would expect your partners on the other side also to start making steps forward. And we've not seen much of that so far. I hope that will change today. If that changes today, I'm sure uh, a, a good conclusion is still within reach. We want a good decision. But it's better to have no decision than a bad decision. We still believe a good decision is within reach, but all partners will have to work very hard to make that possible. And a good decision means that we remain on track to keep 1.5 alive. We do not want 1.5 Celsius to die here and today. That to us is completely unacceptable. Well, you know, I'll 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 question here and then I'll come to you because I didn't understand a word of what you said. The European Union wants a positive result, but we don't want a result at any price. We will not accept the result if it takes us back. We need to move forward, not backwards. So you walk away if there's no We need to move forward, not backwards. And uh, all ministers, as they have told me, like myself, are prepared to walk away if we do not have a result that does justice to what the world is waiting for, namely that we do something about this climate crisis. Those who want it, I can't.